Okay, the episode you've all been waiting for, the Shamrock Farms episode. They've got quite a large portfolio, maybe even a little bit bigger than you thought. Uh, we're gonna go through every last one of them. I've been able to collect all the Shamrock Farms chocolate milk that I think exists. And uh, it's taken a while, but we're gonna go through them one by one. Here they are. A lot of drinking ahead of me. Shamrock Farms has been around for a long time. I think since 1922. They're nationwide. You can get them in Subway. Uh, I think even at Arby's, they've got Shamrock Farms chocolate milk, but also in, in supermarkets all across the United States. Uh, it's the largest family owned and operated dairy in the Southwest. They're based out of Phoenix, Arizona. You've likely seen their products. You've likely had their products, but how do they taste? Well, let's find out. I'm actually gonna start with the whole chocolate milk. Which normally, just like there's a hierarchy of sweetness where you want to start low and, and go up the ladder to, to a sweeter product, uh, there's kind of a hierarchy of dairy fat too, I think, where if you're sampling different chocolate milks, you probably want to start with a, you know, a skim or a 1% and work your way up to a whole because uh, otherwise it, it'll distort the flavor of, uh, I guess it'll just make the lower fat ones potentially taste worse. But I've had a lot of these. I've had these... Uh, several times enough to know what I think about them. So we're just gonna go through them from, I don't wanna say from good to bad, but from uh, higher fat content to lower, if that makes sense. Okay. Mm. Yep, it's that signature Shamrock Farms flavor that I, I mean, I associate with them. I describe it, I hate to use a portmanteau. Um, it's kind of a lame word to use, but uh, caramel, I guess, is the, sort of flavor it conjures up to me. It's like, you know, a caramel sort of maltiness. It's not overly chocolatey. There's more of a malty kind of a flavor and there's plenty of salt. And the caramel-ish sort of flavor, I think comes from the ultra high temperature pasteurizing UHT, you know, so it'll be shelf stable for longer. It'll last longer in the fridge and maybe even outside of refrigeration. I don't know, don't do that. But ultra high temp pasteurization can caramelize some of the sugar in the milk and you get a little bit of that kind of cooked milk flavor. I get a little bit of that kind of throughout the whole portfolio of, of Shamrock Farms. It's not distracting, but it's there. But it's pretty good stuff. A you know, it's a unique sort of flavor. I think it's the best of this lot. I hate to start with the best. You usually want to end with the best, but uh, we'll probably end with the worst. Okay, so on the reduced fat chocolate milk. Reduced fat in this case is a 2%. So there's kind of an upfront butteriness, uh, which is nice, but it's actually fairly bland after that. There's not much of a cocoa punch. You know, the sweetness is just kind of averagely there. And there are some really good 2% chocolate milks out there. I wouldn't consider this to be one of them. The, the whole chocolate milk is quite a bit more flavorful than this. But hey, if, if you're looking for that 2% sort of a, a niche or something like that, you know, pick it up. And the bubbles <laughs> stays bubbly for a long time. I shook this up about 20 minutes ago. But yeah, I mean, it's it, aside from an upfront butteriness, it's kind of rings sort of hollow thereafter. There's not a whole lot of chocolate flavor at all. Uh, not a lot of sweet salt or whatever. I mean, it's fairly well balanced, but there's just not, not really much that's gonna uh, turn heads uh, with the 2% here. Okay, under the 1%, the standard low fat 1% chocolate milk. You know, uh, that's, it's got a nice color to it, nice kind of darkish brown color. I'll say this is more flavorful than the 2% for sure. Uh, it's definitely got a stronger cocoa hit to it. It's actually got kind of like a nice little creamy bit on the back end. And I know it's it's 1%, but it kind of profiles a little bit stronger than that to me. So yeah, it's not bad at all. Actually for 1%, this is quite good. Definitely in the upper echelon of 1% chocolate milks that I've had, especially nation, you know, nationally available ones. This is like, if you consider like a Trumu or a, a Nesquik low-fat chocolate milk. This stuff's way better than either of those, in my opinion. Here's a, a different version of the 1% chocolate milk. This is 1% no sugar added. Uh, it's sweetened with sucralose and acesulfame potassium, uh, which you see in a lot of other no sugar added items. Uh, again, it's 1%. Tastes quite a bit different from the normal 1% that's sweetened with sugar. 
uh, but it's not bad actually. The, the flavor is, is mild, it's kind of almost like a, a lightly malt flavor, um, but the sweetness doesn't feel too fakey at all, which is a surprise. Uh, I'm usually pretty critical about artificially, I don't say artificially sweetened things, it might be a natural, uh, about non-sugar sweetened items. Um, because oftentimes it's just the, the sweetener is way too heavy handed and just dominates the experience in a, in a bad way. This is surprisingly decent. This is one of the better no sugar added items that I've ever had. And I've had quite a few of them. Yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't deliver a ton of flavor, but it's not like super kabuki either. It doesn't, you're not gonna twist your face up. It's just nicely kind of bland chocolate milk. And if it's got significantly less sugar and uh, calories, hey, might be a good fit for some people. Uh, I can see why this has stayed in the portfolio for a while for Shamrock Farms. This is not bad stuff. I mean, I'd call it average chocolate milk for something that's 1% and no sugar added. I mean, that's quite an achievement. Now we're going to talk about a couple of recent additions from Shamrock Farms, and it's these Swirled products. Uh, there's a Swirled coconut cream, like a, a coconut and chocolate milk, and there's a Swirled almond coconut chocolate milk. I know. Uh, so how are these things? They're, they're made with whole milk, uh, which is nice, but they do also have stevia in them to as a sweetener. Here's the swirled chocolate and coconut. Okay, it's pretty subtle flavor. Um, it, you know, it reminds me a little bit of the, uh, ah, what was that stuff? It was half almond and half chocolate milk. I think it was Dairy Farmers of America put it out and it was, uh, it had, it tasted like what I, it would expect sunscreen to taste like, to some extent. It initially smells like, kind of has that uh, sunblock type of the smell, which is a pleasant, I guess, coconutty kind of sweet scent to it. And maybe that biased me, but it, <laughs> it sort of tastes like you would expect sunblock to taste. Although I'm sure in actuality, that would be much worse. But please don't try that. It has that sort of quality to it. This stuff's pretty smooth. Not a lot of flavor up front, maybe like a light maltiness. The coconut kind of hits you more on the back end. Yeah, it's fairly innocuous. The stevia is not uh, heavy handed, which is nice. Um, oftentimes stevia can dominate the flavor of a product and it doesn't do that here. So if you like that chocolate and coconut flavor, I'd say go for it. I know coconut can be polarizing for some people, maybe more for the texture than the actual flavor of it, but uh, you know, mixes nicely with chocolate. I think there's some synergy there, which is, is kind of cool. So hey, check this stuff out while it's still available. Here is the swirled chocolate, almond, and coconut. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> oh. At least you want to check the date on there. I think the date, I think the date's fine. Uh, this isn't good at all. Well, texture wise it's fine it's very similar to the other one it's smooth but man it's i don't know what the hell there's a funky flavor in there <laughs> i'm not really picking up almond really there's kind of a weird coconut it just kind of tastes like um sour plastic or something like that it's not sour milk i mean i obviously know what that's like so I, it's not rotten uh but something in here might have gone kind of wonky one way or the other. If it's really meant to taste like this, wow, that'd be unfortunate. I don't really, I mean, I'm not an almond. I like almonds, love almonds, and I don't mind almond flavor. Almond milk, I could certainly do without. Chocolate, almond, and coconut is a weird sort of combination. It's a, kind of an ambitious combination of three different things that all certainly go with chocolate, but do they, do they go together? I don't know, obviously someone thought so. And uh, this does have almonds in it. I wouldn't recommend this one. Uh, if I see this again, I'll maybe pick up another one in case I got like a, a sketchy one or a sketchy batch or something like that. But this, this stuff's awful, actually. Okay, chocolate rockin' protein recovery. This one has 20 grams of protein in it. And uh, I believe this one contains sugar. So it's like a recovery drink sort of a deal. It's got a really nice dark brown color to it. It's actually kind of a pretty strong cocoa flavor too up front. It's almost on the, the, the cocoa flavor itself is kind of on the sort of darker, mature end of the spectrum, which is a, a nice surprise, especially something that's protein fortified. You don't usually expect it to taste good. 
This stuff does actually taste pretty good. This is definitely one of the better, like high protein recovery sort of a drinks that I've had. This is nice. It's like thinner than you expect at first. And then there's, you know, there's like a chalkiness kind of on the back end, which is pretty much unavoidable with, with products like this for sure, due to the whey protein or whatever the protein component is. If you're looking for like a sort of a higher protein chocolate milk, I would recommend this one. I'd almost drink that for, uh, for recreation. That's pretty good stuff. Okay, last and not least, maybe least, I don't know, Rockin' Protein Builder. And this one has 30 grams of protein and like lower carb, I think only like six grams of sugar or something like that and, and maybe eight grams of carbs or something. Um, I should probably find that out for sure. Whoa. <laughs> I thought I was gonna choke on this shit. It's super thick. Uh, it doesn't, eh, it doesn't taste great, but it's not like super funky. The, the, the texture is th throwing me off for sure. I don't like it when it's just way overly super thick and uh, hard to swallow. You almost gotta chew it, but some people might like that. It does have a nice brown color, dark brown color too. It looks appetizing. You can tell that it's not sweetened with sugar. Oh. Nah, it's not good. It's undersweet. It's, I mean, I guess it's approaching chocolatey. Not nearly as good as the stuff, obviously, that the, the other rockin' uh, protein one that, that's sweetened with sugar. Obviously a lot more cal caloric than this stuff. But if you can choke this down and you want 30 grams of protein in a, in a relatively quick amount of time, I think I could probably eat a chicken breast about as quickly as I could drink a pint of this stuff. Uh, it's, again, you almost gotta chew it. It's not really for me, but uh, it is out there. And if that's what you're looking for, hit it up. That's the Shamrock Farms episode. Thanks for joining me and uh, happy St. Patrick's Day to those of you out there who celebrate that. I guess I don't really, but uh, I'm doing it by drinking a bunch of chocolate milk. Go figure, I'd be doing that anyway. And uh, yeah, thanks to the folks at Shamrock Farms for you know putting out quite a decent wide ranging portfolio and uh, i guess making it widely available to the folks of the united states some of the products are better than others that's just life <laughs> let's talk about that almond coconut chocolate stuff um won't be a long conversation what's bad for left-handed Going. They're getting run off by geese. The people must feed them around here. All I got is chocolate milk in here. Um, sorry to disappoint them. I should break out that coconut almond milk stuff. I'll get them. I'll get him to go away. All the way back to my car, those fuckers are still coming. Oh, I don't think I have anything in the car. All right, Jesus. I don't have anything for you.